what are you doing? You are calculating full load, no load and then regulation. So let us understand what it is. When the full load current is drawn, the terminal voltage is called full load voltage. That means if you wave 10 volts and if the entire 10 volts is drawn, then it is called as a full load voltage. And if you open the circuit, the terminal voltage is the no load voltage when zero current is drawn from the circuit. Then what is the current through open circuit? Current through open circuit is just zero. Why is it zero? Because it offers a very high uh, infinite resistance. So the open circuit voltage is termed as load, uh, no load voltage and current is zero. For a full load voltage, current is maximum, voltage also is maximum. So the portion of the voltage that drops down is, why is it dropping down when there is no voltage, when there is no resistance drawn? It is due to the internal resistance of the source. The third sentence is very important. That portion of the voltage which drops down is because of the internal resistance of the source. So what is essentially the difference between the no load? Why are you calling them as no load? Why are you calling them as a full load? Essentially, a load receives power from the circuit while a source delivers the power to the circuit. Understand the difference which is written in black. The load is the one which is receiving the power from the circuit while source is delivering the power to a circuit. So it's like a source and a sink. Load is like a sink, source is uh, the source of energy, the source of power. The rate of doing work is power. So power and energy are analogous to each other. The rate of doing work you call it as power. So work done in one second is power. So a zero load receives zero power while a full load receives full power. What is quoted in the red is very important. Zero load receives zero power while a full load receives a full power. So this is basically the broad difference between these two. Let me take a small example. Suppose you are given V and L, that is V at no load is 30 volts, uh, V at full load is 25 volts and when the voltage drop is 25 volts, let the current at full load, the full load current, the maximum capacity is 1 ampere. Then calculate output resistance and load regulation. Suppose the problem is given to be like this, then the output resistance is given by V at full load divided by the current. Definitely it is by Ohm's law V by I. What is the full load voltage? It is 25 volts and the current is 1 ampere and hence the output resistance is 55 volts. And when you calculate the load regulation, it is given by the formula. We have seen it in the lab also when you came. When it is given by V at no load minus V means voltage minus V at full load divided by V at full load into 100. So it is given at no load the voltage was 30, this is maximum. At full load the voltage is 25, this is minimum divided by V at full load that is 25. So 30 minus 25 by 25 into 100 is 50 percent. So V no load means you are drawing the curve between voltage and current. If you draw it between voltage and current, V no load refers to the maximum voltage, the beginning point, V full load refers to 
where the current is falling, that is at the end. This is what you are getting. Just copied off this one. So one second, what I would like to tell you is, at this point of time, you are drawing. This is how you are getting. Now, now, what is now? What are the devices uh, which are used, you know, to construct a regulator? Usually, it is the zener diode which is used as a regulator. So, for low current power supplies, a simple voltage regulator can be made with a resistor and a zener diode connected, and the zener has to be connected in the the zener has to be done in the yes. And uh, what is an essential feature? The essential feature is that zener diode has to be always connected to the bus bus. And the zener diodes are rated by the breakdown voltage. What is a breakdown voltage? A breakdown voltage is the one beyond which when, the, when you draw the VA characteristics and as you vary voltage current increases at a point which is called breakdown voltage, there is an avalanche breakdown, sudden uh, surge of electrons are released and current shoots up, that voltage is called. 
the zener. So beyond that, any change in the voltage, there won't be any change in the current. So this is all zener diode. This is cathode, and this is anode. And how do you connect? You connect the series resistor. This is the input voltage, and you connect the zener diode in the reverse bias. This is the fundamental principle of a zener diode used as a regulator. Next, let us consider. Since you already have done uh, the Zener regulators, I am not going in detail. Now, let us try to understand the different types of 